statistics takes out against IMA, people are doing cases against IMA because uh, they are not getting emails, they are not getting cards, so therefore people decided to do cases through expensive lawyers. So how many cases uh, actually daily on IMA people are doing? That is amazing uh, number 60 cases on daily basis people are doing and most of the cases the court is deciding in favor of migrants so I think uh, now this story is clear if you think that your case is too much late and you are frustrated and you think uh, that uh, uh, IMA is not going to handle your case properly and that's uh, being delayed so much so it's not bad idea it's total legal right to go to the court and to decide your application through the lawyer but you need to select that lawyer which is uh, uh, already done such type of the cases and is expert to case to solve the cases of IMA because sometime you took uh, that lawyer which is not much experienced and definitely you will lose your fees if you have money in your pockets I think and you are frustrated if you are not frustrated you think uh, your problem will be solved your email will come because email currently stuck this is the issue current basic issue the email stuck 100 percent emails are not coming even the people who receive first email they are not getting second email people who do not receive first email in the mid of the month before September they did not receive their email first email so that's little a bit uh, shocking for all migrants that's why migrants uh, started doing cases against IMA so currently IMA cases which I am telling you once again I will repeat 60 60 60 cases on daily basis uh, people are going and which type of the cases they, these are number one these cases are TRC card first TRC card they have uh, given biometric uh, and first TRC card the people were waiting and they did not get their card that's why they are going to the court and maximum people are getting decisions in their favor because you know according to Portugal's law IMA definitely is on the back foot if migrants will go to the court to definitely the court deciding application against IMA so that is really a pricking factor for government that is a pricking factor for immigration minister that is a pricking factor for the IMA, I mean, IMA officers and if the people keep deciding applications on this basis that they are doing cases so uh, if they are getting cards by the cases and they are getting emails by the cases and they are getting renewal by the cases it's not good for whole immigration system remember there are almost a maximum number of the migrant whose cases are in pending and they have huge backlog of applications IMA so all people are very poor people who are in Portugal technically they uh, migrated from uh, uh, developing countries to the developed countries and their main criteria is that they will get passport and they will become European national and um, they will get prosperity financially they will be satisfied so they have no money to pay to lawyer therefore if all people will be thinking about lawyers so definitely it will be very bad idea for those people who can't afford I think uh, this news uh, must be alarming for IMA itself IMA did one good thing they started uh, sending emails to the clients to the customer sorry uh, to the migrants and they start telling that if you will uh, your case is processed and we are going to deliver your card that's better idea that's very good idea but it's also better idea that if you are delaying the case of any person just you send email to him as well your case in process and very soon we will decide your case so he will be mentally satisfied and he will save his money and he will save his time you know uh, when you are going to lawyer one I remember one uh, one uh, migrant went to female lawyer Portuguese lawyer and he was very satisfied uh, that he uh, will win the case but when uh, when he uh, just assess his case by another lawyer because he did uh, not get getting any output of this case so his lawyer told that he that lawyer deposited wrong document and due to which he is not able to win the case so that's the main point it never means when you will hire the lawyer 100% sure you will win the case you may lose the money therefore uh, IMA must take uh, strict action uh, to process the 
uh, uh, pending applications because when they will not process applications definitely people frequency of going to the course will increase and this frequency is increasing in the last days almost 30 to 40 cases on daily basis people were going to the court to the lawyers but now today's data is very dangerous data is very alarming data that 60 people uh, went to the court and uh, really it's not good for IMA because uh, as I told you already it's uh, the SOP that if maximum people are getting decisions by court so technically in SOP of immigration department there is some things there are some uh, some weakness of immigration system and good thing is that this data is being published now and uh, all government is uh, watching and observing all situation current discussions in parliament current discussions with IMA officer current discussion of conversion of IMA into the SAP the current emails of IMA to the people who actually has processed whose cards have been processed so this is a very positive uh, aspect because you know this pressure on IMA and definitely uh, motivating them to decide some cases at the earliest hopefully the people uh, people of emails I think are more victim uh, these days because if you think about the cards at least cards are coming that process did not stop yet passport processing definitely continue the people completing five years according to new citizenship law they are applying for the passport and they are their processes are also uh, at least uh, smoothly going on pending uh, we can't say pending but emails if you will see uh, I think it's first time, it's long time uh, uh, after this app, I'm a once again stopped the emails. So this is really alarming situation for the migrants because migrants, if they think that they will be able to get the TRC card, that is the only way that they will get first email, then they will get second email. And also one alarming situation is that they don't need to, they don't know that how they will prepare the documents and when they will prepare the documents because they don't know might be they receive second email at the earliest and might be they did not receive second email after six months so if they will make their PCC you know validity of the PCC you three to six months their PCC will expire similarly their job salaries if they will print out and they will make ready to go to the biometric office IMA and might be they did not receive second email so therefore it's quite confusing at least when you have sent first email what is the meaning of the first email first email mean you must be alert prepare your documents we are sending you second email and you have to get appointment now if he has prepared the documents he need to he need to receive second email essentially because he has prepared documents if he has prepared documents and if you will not send second email or he will not receive second email definitely he will be in a in a dilemma anxiety and he's all hard working of preparing the documents would be wasted and he will not be able to uh, he will not be able to handle the situation once again when he will get email his all documents will be expired